okay so uh, we're going to continue with our um, video here right after the um, probability sampling and we're going to answer this example straight off from the certified random sampling so um, with this um, let me read again among the 250 employees of a certain company 182 are Filipinos 51 are Japanese and 17 are Europeans. If we use proportional allocation to select a stratified random grievance committee of 15 employees, how many employees must we take from each race? So since we're going to make use of proportional allocation, what it means is that our grievance committee, which is composed of 15 employees, must be dominated by the members of the population which has the most number on it so since filipinos are 182 182 um, of them and 51 are only japanese there there must be a lot there must be more filipinos than japanese and also than of europeans in this 15 man employee so how do we answer such problems um basically in books one needs to create a table so the first column in a table usually is the um the title the first uh column here that's called is the strata because it will tell you the different strata which we have the races uh, we have three strata here I will call, I will write F for Filipinos, um, J for Japanese, and E for Euro Europeans. And I'll write the total here down below. Let me just spell that out. Okay, so that's for the first column. For the second column, I must write the big N or the population per stratum. So for the Filipinos, we know that we are 182. For the Japanese, they are 51. Sorry, this is a 2. Europeans, we have 17 of them. And a total of 250. All in all okay so remember that we want 15 employees only in our sample so this will be denoted by small n okay so the question is how many Filipinos do we need out to, um, to create this 15 um, man committee how many Japanese how many Europeans so how we do it will be similar to this. Um, first, we will need to take um, 15, or rather, let's take 182 first. Sorry about that. Imagine that as 8, and this is our 2. And then we need to multiply that by our total in the sample, 15. And then we need to divide that by the total to 50. The overall total I imagine that as 250 so if we're going to make use of our calculator um, find the get one if you have one there so we have 182 times 15 divided by 250 what you'll have is 10.92 so since we don't have a 0.9 kind of person, that's only going to be a person without a head. So we're going to round it off to 11. So meaning out of the 15 person grievance committee, 11 would be Filipinos, meaning the other four would be foreigners. So how many Japanese, how many Europeans? Let's find out. So we'll write 51 times 15. And divide it by 250. We 
please do imagine that as 250. Alright, so let's do the math. 51 times 15 divided by 250, it gives me 3.06. That will simply just become 3. And then lastly, for the Europeans, we have 17. I think you can see that this will be 1 because 11 plus 3 is 14. So meaning there should be 1 European to make it 15. But tell them there will there are errors that occur. So we want to make sure. So that's 250, sorry. My penmanship, so that's 17 times 15 divided by 250. So that's 1.02, or we can just round it off to 1. Alright, so that's it. Um, it will end up in 215. Though, take note, um, I want everyone to know that seldom the sum in this small n column is greater than the, to the sample size total. That happens because of what we call the rounding off error. Rounding off error is an error when we round off things. Um, the decimal, the difference in the decimals um, tend to accumulate and round off at the end to be 1 or 2 or 3 in, uh, uh, um, in the integers. So we can always, again, the rule for sample sizes, we can always go beyond the sample size, the minimum sample size, but not below. So if ever this becomes 16 here, just take that 16. That's okay. The important thing is it should not be below um, the minimum sample size. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you learned something here on how to properly stratify the sample size with, uh, with each um, for each stratum. So thank you very much.